in today's message, I'm going to tell you why most people that claim to have faith get offended. Let's talk about it. Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Fearful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches. Man, I'm just leaving the house, man, and these cows right by my house is active, man. They out moving. But, see, the problem is this mass-produced faith, factory faith, replica faith, false faith, the reason these people oftentimes get offended, you know, is because one, they don't love the truth, two, and they love following the way of the heathen. I'm gonna say a lot in this video, and if you love the way of the heathen, but you wanna parade yourself around like you are righteous, but you just got a religious spirit, I'm telling you, my foot is on your neck. I'm going to wear you out. I'm going to wear you out. You say you love the truth. Let's verify that. Man, how many people will sit up and drag that Christmas tree in their house? They don't care nothing about what happened in the Maccabean period. They don't care nothing about what the word of the Most High Yah. Only thing you care about is why you do it. Well, my pastor said. We're doing it for the birth of Jesus. You ain't read that crap nowhere in the Bible. You love the way of the heathen. That's why you offended. Well, I do it to make my wife happy. I do it for the family. Oh, you love the way of the heathen. You see what I'm saying? This is why people get offended. You got to understand, some people don't want to know why they was pulled out of Egypt. Some people don't care about what they was doing in Egypt. Why? Because you love the way of the heathen. Some people say, oh, no, nah, you can't say that, and you can't say this. No, nah, you love to wear the heathen. That's why you love when your pastor sit up and say, you the Gentile. We got a Spanish person, you know, got somebody of Hebraic descent, got somebody of European descent, and the pastor sit up and tell, oh, you're all Gentiles. What? You love to wear the heathen. You love them Gentile ways. You love heaping up hollering phrases using $20 words that the most high y'all don't even hear. You're a heathen. You know? You say you love the truth. You say you love the most high y'all. You say you know him, but you don't keep his commandments. The book say you a liar. You a heathen. You know? It seems like every time these people that want you to think they got the truth, the book saying Sabbath, 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 Sabbath. You Google Saturday, it's gonna tell you Sabbath, seventh day. You Google Sunday, it's gonna tell you first day. These people get offended. Well, the Sabbath, nah, 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 nah. no, you're a heathen. You love the way of the heathen. You love the Pope. You love the Roman Catholic Church and all they doggone heathenism. You love the stuff they do behind the scenes. All of they doggone sexual morality. That's why the, this why the heathens. You go to their places of worship and they priests be touching people and you love it. You sit by and stand at it. Ah, ah. You love the way of the heathen. Let's talk about this heathen fashion. Man, we got people faking and masquerading as being true Israelites, whether by lineage or by faith. You could be a Gentile walking in righteousness. You'd be treated like a homeborn unto Israel. But you got those jokers that they secretly love the way of the heathen. You know all this makeup come from the fallen angels. You know all these tattoos come from uh, Egyptian culture. You know all these facial appearance and septum rings and all that. But you wanna you wanna play around like you Israel. You wanna play around like you Israel. You wanna fake the funk. No, you love the way of the heathen. See, men, let me tell you something. Heathen men have no business talking about masculine women. 
You's a man out here, got hair all down your back and your buttocks, and you wanna talk about how masculine a woman is because she wanna shave her head bald. You love to wear the heathen. I'm telling you, when you look at the origins where a lot of this stuff come from, come from Egyptian culture, come from Roman and Greek culture, men wearing skinny jeans, the, 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 the women want to wear uh, the same outfits that the harlots got on. You want to wear it to church. No, you love to wear the heathen. You don't like no You don't like no truth. You don't like modesty and meekness, submission. You hear that in your skin, Starboy. You know why? You like operating like a heathen. As a man, you, you want to be uh, vain and beauty. You care more about your doggone appearances than you do righteous. Laboring with these hands. E5, you love the way of the heathen. That's what offends people. You get to you get to this is an abomination. That is an abomination. I don't know why they got to talk like that. I don't know why he had to re he could have just skipped over that. Just cause your sorry pastor skip over, ain't nobody skipping over it. Messiah said he coming to volume of the book. You talking Messiah never addressed it. No, nah, you love the way of the heathen. Messiah ain't never told you he created his own religion. Matter of fact, you love the heathen so much, you 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 worship that heathen religion. You see that picture of Caesar Borgia that you've been told is the Messiah and you bow down. You bow down to all of the doggone wickedness of the heathen. I'm telling you, man, this is, that's what offends people. It's the truth. It don't matter how sweet you say it, how soft you say it, don't matter about your tone, none of that. Nope, not when you love the way of the heathen. You're easily offended. Easily, the truth offends you. When the word is sharper than a two-edged sword, it's supposed to divide. It ain't supposed to have everybody singing kumbaya. Messiah never said he came to bring peace, but he said he came to bring a sword. See, somebody can tell you the truth because they love you for your soul's salvation's sake, and you will mess around and try to cancel culture. Cancel culture. We need to remove him. Cancel culture. Nah, that can't believe they said that. That's what, that one, when you have real warriors speaking that truth, Living that truth, hey, that offends people. Everybody want to masquerade around. Oh, I singing these songs. Oh, I love me some Jesus. And the word you 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 love your mama more than you love Messiah. You love your doggone blood family more than you love Messiah. He tells you, man, if you're not willing to hate your mother, your father, your wife, your children, even your own life, you can't be my disciple. Well, I just I don't think I have to. Do all that. Okay, okay. You like the way it is. You want to be a heathen. You don't want to come out from among them. You want to hang around the heathens. You want to operate around. Them. You want to hang around the heathens. You want to spend your free time hanging around the heathens. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.